From Cameron in Reading to Cray in Swindon Town, parents and players have used the ever-expanding world of communication technology. Hey love, how are you? <laughs> Pretty good. It also gives Cray's little brother, Devante, a chance to share important news. Devante, I heard you scored a um, goal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tell, tell me how it was. Tell me how you scored. He wants to know how you scored your goal. He wants to know. The goalkeeper kicked it at me, and then I slided in the goal. Each player's story is similar. Sacrifice, opportunity, and the pursuit of excellence. They also share the same view that more of their peers can follow in their footsteps. Try to chase your dream all the time. Play hard whenever you have training or games. Don't be top in. Always stay fit. Work hard. Give 100% every time in everything you're doing because in England, they don't only look at football at the clubs, they look at you, how you do in school because if you don't have a good report card they take in all your report cards and if you don't have a good report card you can't play until you get your grades up. And they just have to perform to their fullest and they have to know that someone is always watching so whenever they have the chance that a scout come down or just a coach come down to just watch trainings but just do your do your best and you have to want it and you have to be dedicated to even if like the coach is from a different country, like Holland or one of them places, you just have to be dedicated that you're going to go there and take the risk of becoming a football player. Just waking up in the morning for... Parents also weigh in on the formula for success. Yeah, the main thing is, you know, to work hard. You know, I mean, we've um, Sebastian have raised up with, with good good values. You know, um, we try to um, raise him right. So, you know, the main thing was for him to to work hard. You know, um, follow um, the advice of the coaches. You know, try to um, try to do um, the things that Fritz and the coaches were would tell him and stuff, and and try to be humble. You know? I think. I think longer the days of just dropping your child off at a, you know, at a football match. It's it's about showing that commitment, that dedication from the get go. I mean, I've, you know, our boys have been in the same school and we've been at every football match um, that we can possibly make, and it's about being there and shouting. And I think that has had an impact on them from when they were four years old. So. When this opportunity came, it was almost as if our kids knew right away, well, our parents are going to support this. They've been our support system from, from day one. So it's, it's just about being out there as parents and supporting absolutely everything that your child wants to do. And that's sort of how we've been from the get-go. So, yep. But to, to Cheryl's point, parents, get involved. Get involved with your children's activities. Support them all the way through and plan. Always plan for the future as best you can. But what of the coaches from overseas programs who have selected Cayman's young talent? And what, what needs to be done is, is a structure in place from, from six years old all the way through. So they, they have quality and, and continuity all the way through. So there is a structure, a technical and tactical syllabus in, uh, in, in place. So over the years, they'll get better and better and better. And, and, and it's, it's a long term plan, 10 years. But you will get you will get joy out of it. Opportunities are realistic. 
because the ability is uncoached to the levels which are required overseas in any given league. Um, but these boys, honestly, the job that they have done, you just couldn't imagine. This is my second trip on the island and I'm leaving the island with players who are presentable, who fit the bill. The lessons acquired over the last year by these four young men should serve as inspiration and a motivator for the future players of our national game. With these juniors and the host of others playing football for educational institutions overseas, Cayman football's golden years may be sooner than we think.